Hey everybody, it's Paul. How you guys doing today? We're here in front of the soon to be reef. We got a new product to unbox and use. It is the salinity tester from Hannah Instruments. Thank you to Hannah Instruments for sending this product out to me. So we're gonna go ahead and use this today to test the salinity because we're also making salt water. If you guys could click the subscribe button and that notification bell, that would be absolutely awesome and much appreciated. And uh, so let's go ahead and dive into this and make some salt water. All right, everybody. So we are gonna go ahead and unbox the salinity tester from Hannah Instruments. Thanks to Hannah Instruments for sending this out. Thank you so much for sponsoring the build. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see here, there we go. Nice, it's actually a pretty cool case. So it looks like you got your solutions here to calibrate it. All right, here is the tester. We're gonna go ahead and pop it out of the back here. And shut this down. So here it is. Really great looking product, very sharp looking. Here's where you're gonna go ahead and put your battery. And this comes off right here. And that is where all of the sensors are in order to test your salinity. So I went and took this off and it comes with a battery, so that's great. So you go ahead and line that back up there on the unlock. And I'm just using a bulkhead, uh, a bulkhead wrench, which I had laying around to open it. All right, so what we need to do now is we got a cup of RODI water. We need to go ahead and pull this off and we need to rinse this bottom part in the clean water, just, you know, like so, and then dry it off. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn the tester on. Now, default, it is on Celsius and parts per thousand. So in order to do that, take the cap off, and there's a little button right down over here. Actually, my finger fit in there. And we just click what we want it at. Then the next one, we want this to be Fahrenheit. Next one, and it'll auto shut off in eight seconds. Okay, we are good. So now we need to go ahead and calibrate it. Okay, so now we got the solution here, and this is 35 parts per thousand. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we open this and we calibrate the uh, salinity tester in this. We're gonna go ahead and open this here. Okay, so now that we got the pouch open, we are ready to go. So you click the calibrate button. Now you're gonna go ahead, once it gets to this point, is you put it in your solution and you might have to go you know, up and down, make sure there's no bubbles on it. Now you see how it says REC on the bottom? Right now it's registering the salinity of this solution. Just to, gotta get everything all set. And there we go. The salinity is all set. So now this is calibrated and ready to use. Then clean it off inside your RODI water so it's stored without any salt on it. And yeah, so now it's calibrated and I really think this case is super sweet. It holds it great. And you have a place here to store your extra pouches for calibrating your tester. Shuts right over top. Shuts, I mean, I think that's a great case for this. Really super cool. All right, so here's everything I got in order to start mixing it. I got some heaters, got some wave makers. All right, so what I did was I just got a rag and I wet it with some of the filtered water. We're just gonna go ahead and just wipe them down like this. And then this guy's gonna hang over the edge. Then we got the little tiny pump. Nothing special here. These are gonna just be able to help move the water around. So again, nothing crazy. All 
All right, so now we're at the point of going and getting the salt mixed. We're gonna go ahead and take the, oops, lids off of one of these here. So I got a one and a half inch piece of PVC to help stir the salt in. I do have a power head in there, but it's a small one and not the strongest. So I wanted something to help me and I got this off a forum on Facebook. So uh, let's go ahead and get ready to roll. So the salt that I decided to go with was the Fritz RPM, which is the Reef Pro Mix. So yeah, when I said the power head, there it is. Look at how much it's moving the water. That ain't much at all. So I want something to aid in doing so. So we're just gonna, just gonna go ahead and start going in a circle here. And start adding one cup of salt at a time, nice and slow. All right, so we're speeding this up here to uh, make it faster. It takes a lot longer to do this uh, when you're not speeding it up. But uh, yeah, so pouring in the salt as you've seen, mixing it as you've seen. Uh, I got the tip on the PVC pipe from a forum on Facebook. Um, one and a half inch PVC works really great to stir up the water. Yeah, I just want that salt to go in nice and even so, you know, it's it's uh, dissolving as it's going down and mixing it and all that good stuff. This is my first time doing this and I gotta say it uh, went well and uh, I didn't have any issues. Definitely once you're getting towards the end, you want to make sure that um, when you test it and let's say you're in like the 1.02 stage and you're getting close to what you want, you're gonna to wanna to start adding in the salt more slowly and less to keep testing because you don't wanna over salt your uh, water. You could always add more, which is easier to do. All right, I only put three cups in there, but, and it's not gonna be where it needs to be, but we're gonna test it anyway. So we're at 1.004, so obviously we got a long way to go before we get to 1.26. Yep, so we tested it, needed more salt, adding more into it. Nice and slow. I mean, imagine how slow I'm pouring this in and I sped this video up. Uh, some people might say you could go faster than that, but for this being my first time, I definitely wanted to go slower and make sure that I did it the way that I felt that was gonna be best and most effective. It's like a cyclone, <laughs> the water's spinning. Actually, when you pour the salt in there, when it's spinning that fast, it actually looks like a, a storm, like an actual rainstorm, snowstorm, thunderstorm, just the way that the storms look uh, from outer space. It looks pretty cool, actually. I really enjoy the weather and uh, studied a lot on the weather just independently and so I've seen a lot of different things so to me that's what it looks like all right time to test time to test so obviously as you're gonna see here we are not quite there have to add some more salt and just keep going but it was fun. This is something I've never done before. Obviously with it being a new aquarium, you have to get a lot of water mixed up. And I had to do four trash cans, three 44 gallon trash cans and one 32 or 35 gallon, I believe. But for now on, when I do water changes, it doesn't have to be all three. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test it now. And in the top left corner, you can see that blinking that is it calculating what the salinity and the temperature are and once it stops it is done reading and you can just there stop blinking so right now the salinity point is uh, 1.026 82.7 degrees I'm starting a new tank so the temperature doesn't bother me it'll get itself adjusted but now we know that this salinity in here is good and uh, ready to go so yeah, again, super great packaging. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool actually having this case and you know keeps it nice and uh, stored and so nothing gets damaged. So uh, great product, super excited. And uh, what do you guys think? Got that salt water made, tank's empty, but the salt water is made. So now 
I bet you guys can't guess what we're doing next. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, if you guys could click the subscribe button and the notification bell, that'd be sweet. Definitely want you guys to be notified when a new video comes out. So yeah, guys, please like, comment down below. Have you guys ever used this salinity tester by Hanna Instruments? Or do you plan to? I will have a link in the description to their website so you guys could check it out and uh, comment on the just the whole video. Definitely like to know what you guys think. And you guys know I love reading and responding to all your guys' comments. And uh, that's about it, guys. Next step, guys, what are we doing? This is exciting times. And uh, get ready for some saltwater action. Stay tanked.